Hello. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So basically, this is my first video, and I know when you're looking at the angle of a video, it's not great. Yeah, because this is the first time I just bought my GoPro Hero 7 Black, and uh, actually I still do not have all the mounting uh, tools, so I'm using the one that provided um, by the by the GoPro. So they now I cannot adjust my angle, so I just uh, simply stick it on my helmet um, at the side left side, um, so the angle is actually. 45 degree to my tank which is not great at all so next video I'm going to make it better for sure but this is just my test run for my first video um, just to introduce uh, my bike here and uh, I just bought my bike back in um, um, one month one month ago it's a Modena's Domino 400 it's a rebatch motorcycle from Bajaj India so the motor has 373 cc and horsepower 35 and torque 35 newton meters. So I I uh, I write. I'll just give a little bit of background for myself. I have been riding for more than uh, 10 years, from um, from when I was 17. So I ride until 27, where I had one. Uh, accident and then I quit riding for a long time so I spent 10 years riding in a small uh, mob, mob bike uh, we call it Kap Jai in the Malaysia so I stopped riding for about 8 years um, now uh, just out of nothing I just uh, found my interest back in bike so I just bought my big I mean the first uh, consider a uh, big bike in in Malaysia so I got my license uh, uh, one month ago and then I got this bike uh, so far I just uh, completed my 2000 km break-in so for your information if you are buying a Domino 400 you need to go through a break-in period it is a program in the motorcycle whereby uh, in the first 2000 kilometers um, uh, of your bike mileage you cannot uh, access certain um, rpm which is around 6000 so if you're above 6000 uh, the rpm limit light will uh, will light and then you will be you know uh, born to go higher the reason is to make sure you uh, kick in your bike your your engine of the, uh, the engine of your bike um, to go slow in the beginning 2000 kilometers so I'm very happy I just uh, uh, able to uh, uh, complete my break-in for 2,000 kilometers and uh, immediately after the 2,000 uh, kilometer break-in you can actually uh, fuel the bike to be more powerful you can actually rev the RPM to higher without you know being worn or you know even the engine feel much more easy to rev once you over uh, 2000 I'm not sure whether it's my you know my my feeling or is it it is designed like that so uh, when I bought my bike new I feel it's very way under power it feels like just a 250 cc or even 150 cc bike so after I um, uh, exceeded the 2000 break-in period actually the bike started to feel more like a 3,000, uh, 300cc, uh, 35 horsepower kind of bike. So it's not enough for me actually. So I feel like I will actually um, upgrade my bike in the next year or so. Or so when I have the budget, I would prefer maybe a 900cc or 1,000cc uh, bike. So back to this bike, uh, it is really a value purchase for me is it's only cost about 14 to 15 thousand ringgit in Malaysia so with this kind of uh, 14 to 15 thousand ringgit is about um, uh, 3700 USD so it's really 
a good price uh, for this kind of bike because this bike you have a moderate horsepower and also torque and then um, you have you know full digital meters and then you have ABS you have slip, slipper clutch you have a uh, a uh, sort of okay build, it's not the best build. Uh, I think it's really worth the money to be the first uh, step up to a bigger bike. And uh, before you get the you know, 900 or even 700 cc bike, so it's a very good uh, first start, uh, first bike to start. And uh, that's all. Actually, I just want to give a quick intro of uh, of this and. Um, I'm riding from uh, Shah Alam in Selangor um, going toward funding for a company event so actually this is just a you know, uh, a daily commute kind of ride it's nothing um, fun or anything but I just want to show you a little bit of um, the footage uh, using my GoPro I just want to do some testing and uh, in the future I will try to firm better uh, better angle better um, you know edit of the video or even uh, better content so um, this is my first debut and uh, if you ask I mean maybe you are actually wondering uh, what is the the sound like I mean the, the exhaust sound for this bike so what you are hearing now is not the not the um, original or the factory sound I actually uh, uh, change a slip-on bike I, tr I change a Akla Powick uh, slip-on exhaust to the Domino so it's a 400 I mean 370cc single cylinder bike so the sound will not be as good as those uh, three cylinders or four cylinders but you know when I bought the bike it's too quiet for me it's too quiet so I need to change the exhaust to feel you know to feel it to feel the bike more so I'm I'm really happy that I changed the exhaust and I like it and uh, what what else to say um, I think that's all for this video I uh, just want to show you a little bit of my bike and uh, where why I bought it and where I go what I'm trying to do with my channel so um, this will be one of the chan I mean uh, one of the first video of my future rides whereby I just to record and um, record my journey. I'm not sure how many people will, will like my video or even watch my video. So if there is none or there's uh, very little of them, um, it's okay. I'm just trying to do what I like. Um, just way trying to uh, record the moment of um, of myself riding in Malaysia. So I have future plan to go uh, more route, you know, to the famous route, uh, to other places to explore by myself with the bike. So, yep. And uh, that's all for this video. And I'm looking forward to my second video and my second uh, longer distance ride. And until then, see you guys and ride safe. <laughs>